So you don't understand how polypaint colors work in ZBrush. Not a problem. The preview color is controlled here. But if you want to actually apply that color to a selected object, go up to color and fill object. When you return the preview color back to default white, it will look like nothing has changed, but that's because your subtool probably has color mode turned off. In order to turn it on, go up here and click this. Now you can see that the object has inherited the color that we filled. Now how full the color is, is determined by the RGB intensity. Which which you can control after turning RGB on. So if we turn color off, make it red, but change the RGB intensity to something like half, and then color and fill object, you'll see that it only applied the color at half the strength. Now personally, I always keep strength at 100, and if I want a lighter color, I just set that color manually. But in case you're wondering, that's how it works. Now if you want to color stuff spray paint style, even if you have RGB turned on, you'll notice that when you left click, it deforms the mesh when coloring, which usually isn't what you want. But if you turn Z add off, now you will see that only the color and no deformation takes place. Now, once again, RGB intensity determines the strength of your colors. And just like every other brush, you can change the shape with alphas and the type of application technique with different strokes. If you hold Alt when you left click, it will remove your coloring. And if you hold Shift, it will smooth and blur the colors just like the smooth brush. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.